Welcome to another Cognos Analytics demo. My name is Kwame Owuku. You can contact me at Cognetics.com to learn more about the Cognos services I offer. Okay, so in this demo, I'm going to show you how to create a data module uh, by combining two data sets and then using that um, data module to very quickly create a report. Okay, so what is a data module? Data modules are source objects that contain data from data servers, data servers like Oracle or SQL Server, or uploaded files like the Excel spreadsheets that I'm going to be using, or you can also use other data modules as data sources, okay? And uh, you can also use framework manager packages as a source, as well as data sets. And uh, data sets contain extracted data from, say, a package or even another data module. So this is a new feature that has been introduced in Cognos Analytics 11. All right, so how do you create a data module? You start by clicking the new button, clicking data module, and here are the different options I was just talking about. Uh, in our case, we are going to use uploaded a file I uploaded into my content. Okay, so I have the NFL passing team statistics from 2016, and I have the the Russian statistics as well in the context of the team. And uh, what I want to do is to be able to, to create a report where I combine um, elements from these two files. So I have to create a join. So I'm going to select these two um, data sources, click the Start button, and um, the next window opens up to show that I am ready to create my new data module. Okay, so here's my first data source, and here's the second one. When I open the first data source, I can drag the table, the NFL passing statistics table, and then the Russian statistics table. So when I get the table, I can um, do a few things, like create my join, which I'll do in a moment. I can create custom calculations. I can filter this uh, table. I can rename it. I can even hide it, and I can remove it if I do not want uh, to... To, to use it. Okay, so here is where I can change, I can do some of these things, you know, filter, add relationships, etc. Okay, so in the table itself, uh, I see that I have the ID, I have the team, I have the conference, um, division, playoff, so I know what I have, but I'm going to be using the ID as a join between the two tables, but I don't necessarily need it to show up um, when someone else needs to use this module. So I'm going to hide it. I'm going to hide it and um, I'm going to hide it here as well. Okay. So that is hidden. And uh, another thing I wanted to do was I, need, I wanted to rename some of these columns um, because I have columns with the same uh, names in both tables. So I need to add a bit of context to that. So I'm going to call this person. And uh, for the sake of time, I'm just going to change all these two because these are the only two columns that I'll be using to test the report. Ration. And very quickly, I want to go through some of the other things you can do with, um, with each column. A lot of it is similar to what you can do at the table level as well. Uh, in this case, if I click on the... You can create custom groups, which means if I wanted to categorize all the teams in Florida, for instance, you know, the... Uh, I can do that, you know, if there's any reason at all you have to create a custom group. Like if this was a location and you wanted to group some countries together, you know, you can use a case statement to create this custom group. Uh, in the properties as well, you can specify a lot of things. You can specify if you want this to be um, an attribute or you can rename it here as well. You can change the aggregates. You can decide if you want this attribute to be used as a geographic location for your geographic charts or you, if you wanted to use this column um, as a time dimension, right? So that you can build prompts um, using the prompt objects. Okay, so um, under the advanced, you can also sort um, by the column, and I'm not going to do any of that at the moment, but I wanted to show you that, guys, that that was possible. All right, so everything looks good. I'm not going to do my join very quickly. So to do my join, I click on the first table, I hit join, and I'm presented with this new interface. So it shows a little live feed of, of, the, of the table when you, when you click on it. So I see my data, this is my passing data, and this is my ration data. 
So to do the join, I'm going to select ID for the person side and then ID also for the Russian. So now that it's joined, I want to see what it looks like. I click on this tiny button and it's going to give me a quick preview of what my join table looks like. So here's the team, um, here's the ration on this side, and then here's the person data on this side, okay? Cardinality, I'm just going to do a one-to-one -one because I know that both rows, I have 32 rows in both tables, so this should work. So here I am, you can see that I have joined both data sets. Now to test it very quickly, there's a try it option, and that is going to take you to a new screen uh, where you can very quickly create a report to see to test the data essentially so here we go um, i'm going to bring the team i'm going to bring the person attempts and i'm going to do the ration attempts as well because they are joined i can do this i go page preview and there you have it so now i can go back and save my data module to my contents I'm going to call it, I have something similar here, so I'll just add demo to it. And now I am good to go. So I'm going to do another demo where I show you how I'm going to be using this new module to create a dashboard or some active reports. My name is Kwame Oruku. Tune in for the next demo. Thank you.